And what is up guys, Technicals here. It's time for A Street of Salad. With your host, Armin Ben Technicals. If you haven't been following, Salad.io is an AI distributed compute sort of platform for various workloads. It's not really crypto mining, although you can crypto mine through it. Earnings on Salad are really high. They're much better than crypto mining, so I've been doing a lot of Salad content. Check my other videos if you wanna see uh, how it gets set up, some of the things about it. Lots of creators are doing videos on Salad, but today I'm gonna be going over my earnings thus far and also introducing two new Salad rigs to the fold. That's right, I'm repurposing my CPU miners, everything but my 7950X3Ds into Salad rigs. And so I'm gonna go over those, do a little eye candy uh, build montage, and I swear the next person that makes a salad tossing joke is gonna get... Sorry, this is not that funny of a joke. You could do better. On the technicals, let's get into it. And so after much toil, actually, this is my former Chia miner, the one that I built in a previous video. Check out the previous video if you want to see that. Uh, but it wasn't on, wasn't making anything. So I figured, hey, I've already got this case already sort of set up. It's got an i7 in it. I'm just going to pop the 4070 in and every little bit of DDR4 that I have remaining. I'm going to leave the hard drives in there just because I don't want to like take them out and store them somewhere rather just leave them in here because i'm not sure how long the salad thing is going to go but don't let me forget if you're watching this video don't let me forget if i ask like hey where are all my hard drives they're in here i'm leaving them in here they're all disconnected but leaving them in here for now running on this msi board a little nvme down in there and so i only have enough for one more salad rig that i'm going to put in this this is actually the last surviving case from my previous farm when i had all the rigs in these server cases obviously this one I was cutting pieces out of it to fit server power supplies inside and it's it's obviously not ideal but it is a case and i'm not buying anything for salad rigs so i'm going to use this See the description below for links to Amazon on any of the parts. If you need any of the parts, I certainly do not recommend buying parts to build a salad rig. Uh, but if you got all the parts and maybe you're missing a, a hard drive or, you know, some extra RAM or something like that, see the links in the description below. I'll find the cheapest parts I can and uh, buy using my link. Don't, don't use my salad ref code or whatever. Just buy stuff on Amazon using my link. I'd much prefer you do that because you get something, I get something. Everybody's happy. So while we're installing Windows, just to recap everything I got in this rig, 5900X, 32 gigs of DDR4. I can't remember. I guess I'll find out. 4070, RTX 4070, not a TI, just plain old 4070. 450 watt power supply. So I'm gonna check the uh, what it's pulling at the wall to make sure I'm underneath my 80%. Should be okay, because the TDP on this card is pretty low. TDP on this is you know, it's up there, not too bad, but uh, Sal doesn't really use the, the CPU that much anyway. And I got it on this, you know, basic uh, basic MSI. I'm not even sure what model it is. And I got some HDMI dummy plugs to put in here uh, because you're gonna need one of those if you're wanting to just 
sock this away, make it a headless unit, and run it kind of like that. All right, so checking in on my earnings. Currently, I'm at 108.77. I said to cash out at 100, but I didn't account for that 10, 15, 20% fee or whatever. So I'm waiting until I hit that mark so I can get a crisp $100 bill out of salad. So if we're taking a look at the earnings here, uh, this is the 24 hours. You can see there's lots of bits and bobs and ups and downs, but salad's dashboard isn't exactly very precise in terms of uh, you know what it's showing you, what you're earning, especially per rig. And so I know a lot of people who aren't on the salad bandwagon yet are curious about, well, what is my particular set of hardware going to earn? Because they're used to crypto mining. They know that a particular piece of hardware has a particular hash rate, which has a particular you know earning value, but you can't really do that with salad because the jobs come and the jobs go. There's absolutely positively no way. There's too many factors to really track that down. But what I can show you here are my particular earnings. If you're following along, what I do is I boil it down into dollars per minute. I do that based off the balance and the interval of time since my last spot check. So you can see it. Uh, my last spot check was at uh, 1.40 a.m. Previous to that was at 11 p.m. So a pretty short window of time, only 140 minutes, or I'm sorry, 160 minutes, uh, and my balance increased by exactly $1. And so that comes out to six tenths of a cent, which equates to, if we extrapolate it to the one day, $9 per day on a 30 day, $270 per day. So you can see here's the difference between last interval check, the percentage gain or lost. If you see, it kind of goes all over the place, 110% up, 57% down, 83 up, zero, nine, et cetera, et cetera. So if you got this little graph here, just a very simple visual way to sort of track where you are. And this is the average uh, uh, per minute uh, income for the salad rigs. Now, you can see here, this is where I added the, my third rig, my fourth rig, and my fifth rig just came online. So I did a check right here so I can see how much it increases because this, this uh, salad five is that 5900X, the 4070, 64 gigs of DDR4. So we're gonna see how much it goes up from there. But overall, my dollars per minute right at about a half a cent per minute or about 668 per day, that's all said. So we expect that to climb up a little bit as these new rigs come online and change that average and move that average a little bit higher. Now it's been some time since I've done a spot check and since Salad5 just came online, um, we're, I haven't done a spot check versus crypto mining, but if I took all these hardware components and ran them all on the most profitable thing based on the calculator websites uh, here back on the 23rd, which was a couple days ago, uh, I would have made $3.38 in revenue, in just revenue, uh, on those particular hardware components. But that's at them pulling, you know, you know, probably higher wattages, especially on the GPUs. And so if we compare that to what I would have taken in on salad that particular day, $4.67. So uh, it's 72% higher to run salad. So that's what I'm doing here. That's how I'm tracking it. I know some other people are tracking it in different ways. Uh, point being is that you can't really, you know, sort of lock in on how much that particular card is doing. Now, yes, salad in the tray, it'll tell you you're earning between a dollar and five dollars or a 10 cents and 70 cents, but the range is huge. Uh, it, it's always huge. And I think they're just giving themselves leeway there. So I find it much more precise to track it over time this way so you can get an you can see actual real world how much money be coming in because unless you catch the rig at the time that it's earning uh you're not going to be able to derive uh how much you're, you're taking in as far as power goes same song and dance now you can put gpu z on your machines and if you find it while it's performing a job you can find out how much power it's drawing but it has to be in the middle of the job and I've seen when I'm looking at task manager, I see, you know, the GPU gets used a whole bunch, you know, and then it doesn't. And then it's, it's kind of up and down. And so unless there's some sort of, you know, maybe there's a program that tracks the power usage ongoing, you can use, you know, third party watt meters and kind of see how many, how many kilowatt hours you've pulled in a particular range of time. But everything that I've seen suggests that it's pulling a considerably, you know, or a, a much less power than it would be with crypto mining. Because with crypto mining, you turn it on, it's, it's full bore, it's balls out. Uh, all the way through unless you tweak it down. So again, if you're on the fence about salad, I wouldn't recommend buying a whole bunch of parts to build a rig, but if you've already got some and maybe you need a couple parts here or there, check the links below to Amazon for various components that comprise a salad rig. If you need just like one thing and want to pick it up and want to try it out, uh, buy it using my links. Don't use my salad referral code. You can't find it anywhere. I've removed it as far as I can tell from everywhere. So I don't want you to use that. Buy using my Amazon links. And the most important thing when building a salad rig is once you get it online, don't touch it. Don't do anything to it. Don't try to tweak it. Don't try to start and restart jobs so you can try to get a better job. 
because that's hurting your score in the back end. We don't know anything about how they're ranking uh, the different machines in the back end, so it is absolutely best. Do not fuck with the rigs. Just leave them alone, let them do their thing, and they should perform. So I'd love to know what you guys are doing because salad is going on like a month, you know, five weeks now that salad's been around and been kind of popular and sustained profits over that period of time. A lot of people saying it's going away and it goes up and down, but it's doing all right. I mean, it's, it's, it's pulling in the dough. So I'm, I'd love to know what you're doing in the comments below. Let me know what you're running. Let other people know what you're running, how much power you're pulling, whether or not you think it's worth it. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'm The Technicals. See you next time.